What happens when a baby duck rescues a lost baby otter, and you make the whole story using AI? I used AI tools like Canva, ChatGPT, and a few others to bring this animated rescue tale to life. And here's the twist, I used zero drawing skills and have no animation training background. I've created hundreds of short animated stories using AI tools and today I'm showing you exactly how you can make one like this too. By the end of this video, you'll know how to script, design, and export your own AI-powered animal adventure. Let's get started. I'm in ChatGPT and I'm going to have it help me create a story. So I told it I needed help creating a script. Including an image and a video camera prompt for a YouTube story I want to make. I said I'd like it to be about a cute duck or a chick helping a lost baby otter safely find its mother. So here's the script it gave me and it includes the scenes and everything broken down further into the narration, image prompts and also camera prompts which will come in handy when I'm making the video. Alright, so, now that I've got all that, after I make a few changes, the next thing I need to do is to take this information and get started making some amazing images for my story. The next thing I'm going to do is go to Canva and today, this is where I'm going to make my images. If you've never tried it before, Canva has a really nice image generator. When you're at the home page, come over here, look for where it says Canva AI, and click on that. Then, down here where it says create an image, that's the one you want to click. So I'll click on that, and then I'll go to a screen like this. Here's where you put your prompt. Once you put your prompt in here, you have choices. You can choose different sizes and image styles. I'm using a paid plan right now. Notice, it makes a set of four images at a time. Let's say, for example, I want to make another one of these. If I want to repeat it, I can just click right here, choose reuse prompt and now it's right up here. It does a really good job. So, go through your script and make images using those image prompts for each of the scenes. Then, once you've got your images all ready, you download the ones that you need for your video. So give me a few minutes to download the ones I need, and we'll go there next. But before I forget, let me show you how to download these while I'm here. For example, you really like this one. Click on it and you see you also have the option to upscale it. Nice. And it doesn't take it very long to do it either. If you want to download it, you click right here. And then I'll be ready to go on to the next step which is converting these images into mini videos. Now I'll start making my videos. I've got all my images downloaded to my computer. So I'm using a site called Design. If you come over to AI Tools, you'll see they have a lot to choose from. I'll click on Image to Video. Next, I'll come up here and choose 16 by 9 and click Apply. Then, I'm going to put this in here. I'll drag my image in, there it is. You can see it here also. So pick that. Next, you have a lot of different video generators to choose from. I'll choose this, then I'll go back to chat GPT and get my image prompt. Alright, I'll add it here. And I'll choose 10 seconds. Click generate. And now it's processing. So while that one's working, I'll go ahead and start the next one. I'll take a new image and drag it into here just like that. Come over here and I'll click on this one. This time I'll choose 5 seconds and click generate. Here's the first one that's still processing. While it's running, I'll just keep doing the same thing over and over for the rest of my videos until I'm done. I'll come back here when they're all done and start downloading these. Okay, now that several of them are done, I'll show you the quality of a few of them. So now I'm ready to go on to the next step. Now I'm back in Canva and I'm ready to start making my video. I've already created my images and made my mini videos, so now I'll put all this together. Choose either YouTube video or video and then choose landscape. Next, add a few extra pages. I'll go back to the beginning and I'll open this up. I'll drag in a few of my videos so I can keep them in order and then start adding them to the pages. As I'm doing that, I'll also choose set as background. That way they'll fill up the whole page. Then I'll repeat this process over and over until I've added all my mini videos. Give me just a few minutes to do that. Now you can see I've got all my videos uploaded. Next, 
I'll go through the story and make sure that everything's in order. Before I do all that, I'll add a blank page to the beginning and the end. I'll add text in here. My title will be at the start and I'll add a little text at the end. Next I'll add transitions between the pages. I'll use a dissolve. After that it's time to start editing my video. Here's a little bit of what I've done so far. I've also changed the speed of a few of the pages to make the flow better. I also split a few videos down to make the video more coherent. Over here are the pieces that I cut out. I just saved them in case I needed them later, so that's why they're over here. The next thing I'll do is start adding sounds. I went to Pixabay to look for things like ducks quacking, water sounds, etc. I've already downloaded them. If you want to listen to something in here you just click on this button. Then when you're ready to download, you just click here. Now I'm back at my story and I'm going to drag in my sounds from Pixabay. I'm just going to mix them all up. If you put your playhead right wherever you want the sound to start at, just click on one and it will be added in that space. I'll duplicate this a few times so it'll be in the background for the whole story. As a reminder to me, I'm going to change these pages to white so I don't forget this is the end of the story and all these are extra videos that I'm hanging on to for now. I'll take these and move it down there and fade out the ending. You can see now I've got different layers of sound and that's okay. You can change it up to fit your tastes. Just listen and see what you think you need to add, delete, or duplicate. Next I'll add some bird song. Oh, this one is copyrighted so I am definitely not going to use that one. I'm glad you saw that. So I'll delete that one immediately and find a new replacement. Okay, now I've got my background audio sounding pretty good. I'm probably going to add a few more sounds. Lastly, I'll show you all my sound effects added in here so you can see what is possible. There's a lot of sounds in here but no music or humans talking. Now I'm finished so I'll go up here to file, go to download, choose mp4, I'll upgrade the quality and choose only the video pages. Then I'll click done and download. In just a second I'll show you the final project, let me know what you think.
If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button, it really helps the channel. And if you're eager to explore more AI animation techniques, check out this next video right here.